Marvel Ultimate Alliance, great potential. Marvel Ultimate Alliance is a dungeon crawler beat em up where you play as your choice of four Marvel heroes. Or a mix with online or local co op out of 25 different characters to be unlocked with collectibles, secrets, and story progression. You team up, of course, to stop Doom from doing his usual Doom thing of trying to take over the world. Your journey to stop him will take your character to a variety of locations like Atlantis and Asgard. Unfortunately, while the scenery does change at a decent pace, the gameplay doesn't. This game is a monotonous and ridiculously long 17 hours. During the 17 hours you do the dungeon crawl thing of just killing everything for fairly minimal loot with very much welcome but too thinly spread out puzzle and platforming sections. Bosses will drop rings for stat boosts but that's about it. There's no real incentive to explore or even defeat all enemies other than unlocking new characters as leveling up doesn't seem too significant. And if you have your favorite 4 unlocked, why even bother finding these hidden figures? As you level up your stats unnoticeably increase and you unlock new moves that you can assign to a button command. You can also unlock suits by using characters or completing a comic mission hidden throughout the world. These optional comic missions tell the story of one individual character to give more insight on them than new fans or hit that nostalgia button of existing fans of characters. And as stated already, completing these missions successfully will unlock a new suit for your character and thankfully these suits are not just skins. They all have their own special perks which will actually give you a hard time choosing from. And you can upgrade these perks with coins that enemies drop, but again it doesn't really feel too significant. Combat in this game is fairly basic. But characters do all handle and feel unique. Some can fly, some have projectiles, some are straight up brutes. If you get too bored, which you definitely will, you can switch out your team at any time when you run into a save point. There's also over 17 boss battles and mini boss battles in this game, but are essentially either a straight up beat em up brawl or dodge attacks and do a quick time event, which are surprisingly some of the more better boss fights as they throw in a splash of variety, but really aren't that great and don't require any real strategy. While Marvel Ultimate Alliance is a great love letter to the Marvel fans, packed with material that even I can appreciate while not being a Marvel fan. I feel like the game drags on and keeps you in its lackluster locations far too long, ultimately making this game feel like a drag. That being said, if you're a Marvel fan, I still believe this game is worth your money. I give Marvel Ultimate Alliance a 7.5 out of 10. If you played Marvel Ultimate Alliance, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching.